mercy and grace. Mercy, not receiving bad, I deserve. Grace, receiving good, I cannot earn. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Romans 3, 23. While we're all lost in our sin, God gave us faith, love, and hope. But the greatest of these is love. No man comes to the foot of the cross but by faith. The mind governed by the flesh is death, but the mind governed by the spirit is life and peace. This represents the unsaved mind of man. This is the deprived mind, the mind without God. This is how we can mistreat each other in all the different ways we do. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. Isaiah 55, 8. Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against that house, yet it did not fall because it had its foundation on the rock. But everyone who hears these words of mine and does not put them into practice is like a foolish man who builds his house on sand. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against that house, and it fell with a great crash. And God said, this is the sign of the covenant I am making between me and you and every living creature with you, a covenant for all generations to come. Genesis 9:12. What man needs to do is to look up out of his despair and cry out to God. Take hold of Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior and let him in your heart. Thanks to the blood of Jesus, the invitation requires you to come just as you are. Come, all who are thirsty, come to the waters, and you who have no money, come, buy and eat. Come, buy wine and milk without money and without cost. Isaiah 55, 1. This living water will only bring life to those who will drink from it. To those who choose not to partake of it for whatever reason, they will surely die. For God says, I put life and death before you today. Choose life. He chose to give us birth through the word of truth that we might be a kind of first fruits of all he created. James 1, 18. He is the vine and we are the branches. When we accept him, Jesus Christ, as our savior, we become part of the body of Christ. Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. John 14, 6. The iron fence represents the strength of the truth. These are the five truths the fence represents in this painting. Forgive and you will be forgiven. Give and it shall be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be opened to you. Ask and it will be given to you. As Christians, we are actually commanded to do all these things in Christ for the good of ourselves and others. But we still have our free will that God will never violate. We can get around this if we desire. Jesus said, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through him. Teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. Psalms 90, 12. This is a sunset or sunrise or yesterdays and tomorrows. There is a true wisdom in knowing that someday we will all give an account to God face to face for the days he's given to us on this side of heaven. Then we come to this brick wall. This represents the walls we build up around ourselves so we don't get hurt. God showed me these walls must come down for the walls of protection has a wall of limitation on the other side as well. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain for the old order of things has passed away. Revelation 21, four. The top rows and thorns represents this side of heaven where we are getting older, our fleshly bodies are withering away, where we have trials and tribulations of many kinds, where there is death and mourning and crying and pain. This bottom rose represents the heavenly body of those who has chosen Jesus Christ as Savior, which is now in heaven, where there is no more death or mourning or crying or pain. 
Through his mercy, we now can submit our minds freely to the Holy Spirit. The ways of our plans to the Lord, our fears we can now rest upon Jesus Christ and give him our cares of yesterdays and all our worries of our tomorrows back to our God. Grace, what God brings to us, he brings his covenant that he made between mankind and himself. The living water that whoever drinks of this water will never die. Faith, love, and hope that he gives graciously to all of us without finding fault. His truth that will set you free gives us hope for a much better place after this life where there is no more death or mourning or crying or pain for the old order of things has passed away. And he's given us his son as the sacrificial lamb so we now can be part of the body of Christ. Mercy, not receiving bad I deserve. Grace, receiving good I cannot earn.